he was a southern gentleman without any doubt um, you could just see him around women how he would be certain women I guess <laughs> uh, I don't think he suffered fools whether uh, no matter what the gender but uh, he was a real gentleman and I think uh, the idea of uh, of friendship and the bonds of friendship and loyalty were the most important things to him. You know, I think he really believed that character was destiny. Um, so when I first met him, uh, I went in and he did a lot of these. Um, you know, first thing he had me do was steal Don Henley's car. So right off the bat, when I got there, it was Grand Theft Auto. I mean, right off the bat. Then we went there and he said, uh, he said, do you drink? Do you shoot? And I said, yeah, sure. Uh, he goes, well, I've got some things to attend to, you know, hideous, rape case, uh, affidavit, I've got other. But uh, do you golf? Sure. So he put me out and gave me some whiskey, a shotgun, and he had on his porch a game called Shotgun Golf where he'd had, he had, you know, back where the monument is now, he had a little, you know, green he had set up. And you'd take a bucket of balls and you'd hit the ball out. And if you could blow the golf ball out of the sky, then, you know, that was fair. So it was kind of a pitch and putt with shotguns. Um, so that was just immediately, and, and then as we uh, went on in the evening, we went out to Woody Creek, and there were all these tests to see if you, would, you know, if you, if you had the right stuff that he would give you. The sheriff was there, and he came in, and he looked like he was some mongrel motorcycle outlaw, about 6'6", six, six, and <laughs> came in, said, who the fuck are you? And I go, I said, I'm Johnny, who the fuck are you? And he goes, well done. <laughs> You know, so there's all these little tests, but uh, at the end of the night, we said, uh, well, we're trying to do this play, and um, we thought maybe there might be something you'd want to add from your contemporary writings to the end of the play. And I could see him, you know, asking me to do work, and who is this kid coming in and asking him to do work? And I said, but listen, I just want you to know that I'm so honored to sit here and have a drink with you and meet with you and talk with you, and if you don't want me to do the play and if nothing else, it was just a terrific honor uh, spending this time with you, and I've enjoyed it, and thank you. He goes, God damn it, a gentleman, Jesus Christ! And he, you know, he, he would really get infused with, uh, like he'd been shot with adrenaline when he knew somebody um, had some uh, qualities of uh, friendship and loyalty that he thought superseded everything else in the world, you know? And from that moment on, we were, we were tight. But it was uh, when I offered to him some sort of friendship that was the most important thing to him when he knew that when he knew I didn't want anything from him other than his friendship we met Bob Bradis in interviewing he's in this program oh he's, yeah I saw Bob out at the funeral yeah, he's be a beautiful man he, he's one of my favorite stories from Bob he says you know Hunter like to go out take an old Jeep put dynamite in it DuPont fuses with five gallons of gasoline and blowing it up, and you know, he just couldn't do that here in town. No, 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 he couldn't. He couldn't. He loved, he loved explosions. He loved blowing stuff up. 